Hi everyone. Welcome to Jobber Techy. So let me ask you something. Have you ever changed a small field in an API and suddenly multiple client application started crying? That's exactly what happen when API versioning is not handled properly in your production system. For example, let's say you have a payment gateway and it has multiple client. Today it return a simple response called amount, currency and payment method. So all the client are already integrated with this particular contract. Now in the future, one client come up with new requirement support for partial refund, tax breakup, and multi currency conversion, something like this. Okay, along with amount currency payment method, he also needs to include tax refund policy and who is the provider. So to support this, the response structure needs to change, but you cannot directly modify the existing API because other client. Don't need these changes and their integration may break, isn't it? Now, how do you handle this situation in real production system? So well, this is exactly where API versioning comes into the picture. Earlier, we used to handle this by creating separate version one, version two, and version three controller classes. But that approach is not clean or scalable. That is the reason Spring Boot four introduces a much more straightforward way to handle API versioning. Using different strategies like path-based API versioning, header-based, and query-based. Okay. So in this tutorial, we'll see how to implement API versioning the right way using Spring Boot 4. So without any further delay, let's get started. So to save our time. Already, I created a project called Versioning Demo. If you check the pom.xml, we are using latest Spring Boot version 4.0.1 and JDK 21. And if you check the dependency section, I only added web dependency and Swagger dependency that is Web MVC UI. That's it. There is no additional dependency in this particular project. Now, if I will open the controller class, I have defined a generic endpoint. Considering this is my upstream who is giving the payment response, and we have multiple downstream. Now let's say one downstream requested for changes in response. I cannot directly change this particular endpoint because this particular endpoint is already live in production and it is being used by my multiple downstream. Changing something in the existing API might break my downstream application, right? So for that reason. What we can do, we can go for API versioning. So in Spring Boot 4, there are different way you can achieve the API versioning. Let me list down, and we'll discuss each and every strategies in details. So the first one, versioning using path segment. Then second one, using header based versioning. Third one, using param based. Or query-based versioning. Okay, these are the three different way you can define versioning for your endpoint without breaking the existing application. And remember, this versioning is really crucial in your production system. If you will change anything on the existing flow, if you have multiple downstream, you need to be very careful. So instead of touching that existing running flow, let's apply the versioning so that All the flow will work as expected. There is no production surprise or there is no blast radius. So let's understand how we can apply this versioning one by one. Now, as you understand, one of our downstream needs the response changes. So I'll not touch the existing flow. What I'll do, I'll simply copy this, then I'll paste it. I'll change it to the get payment b2. Then what all field he need. I'll create separate DTO for that. I'll create a DTO called Payment B2. Then I'll add that DTO. Okay. Then I need to create another class called Payment Method, where we'll just define who is the provider. Just add it here. Payment Method Type and Provider. Okay. Now go to your Payment Controller. Just add the import statement. Then simply. Change it to payment B two and map all the required field. 
ओके अमाउंट इज फाइव हंड्रेड करेंसी इज आई एन आर टैक्स आई डिफाइन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टैक्स देन यू जस्ट नीड टू डिफाइन स्टार्टअस ऑफ इट आई डिफाइन पार्सियल रिफंड पॉलिसी सो यू हैव डिफाइन ए सेपरेट एन पॉइंट नाउ यू हैव टेन डाउन स्ट्रीम हु एवर वॉन्ट द वर्जन वन दे कैन सिंपली कॉल दिस हु एवर वॉन्ट द वर्जन टू दे कैन सिंपली कॉल दिस सो यूजली इन ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच वॉट वी डू वी जस्ट डिफाइन द फर्स्ट एंड पॉइंट विच इज द जेनेरिक वन वी क्रिएटेड फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग एज ए वी वन वर्जन एंड द अपडेटेड वर्जन वी डिफाइन एज ए बी टू वी जस्ट प्रोवाइड टू डिफरेंट यू आर एल फॉर टू डिफरेंट एंड पॉइंट बट दैट इज नॉट द करेक्ट अप्रोच टू हैंडल द वर्जनिंग दैट इज द रीजन वी हैव दिस थ्री डिफरेंट वर्जनिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ यू कैन अप्लाई द पाथ बेस्ड वर्जनिंग ओके फर्स्ट लेट मे आड ए नोट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई पाथ बेस्ड वर्जनिंग सो फॉर पाथ बेस्ड वर्जनिंग यू नो नीड टू हार्ड कोड द यू आर एल यू कैन सिंपली रिमूव दिस इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट यू कैन बाइंड इट डायनेमिकली सो फॉर दैट यू कैन सिंपली डिफाइन वॉट इज द वर्जन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो डिफाइन वर्जन इक्वल टू बी वन और वन एनीथिंग यू कैन डिफाइन वट डज इट मीन सो इफ द रिक्वेस्ट इज कमिंग विथ एदर वन और बी वन और वन डॉट जीरो अपन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर यू आर एल देन कंसिडर दिस एज ए वर्जन वन एंड पॉइंट ओके सिमिलरली आई कैन कॉपी दिस पेस्ट इट इफ द रिक्वेस्ट इज कमिंग विथ स्लैश टू एज पार्ट ऑफ पाथ देन कंसिडर दैट यूजर इज ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस द वर्जन टू एंड पॉइंट सिंस इट इज अपन टू द पाथ ऑफ यूर यू आर एल दैट इज द रीजन दिस इज कॉल्ड पाथ बेस्ड वर्जनिंग now let's test this out and we'll understand how path based versioning work now let me start the application before i start the application let me show you the application.yml i'm just running my application with port 9191 and there is nothing okay let's run it and we'll see the result great we got some error what is that caused by illegal state exception api version specified but no api version strategy configured okay read this message this message itself self explanatory what action you need to do you have defined the version in the end point you have defined the version but where did you define the strategies we have not defined any strategies how spring boot will know this is path based versioning you want to achieve or you want to achieve header based versioning you need to explicitly define the strategies now how we can do that there are multiple approach either you can define in application or properties file or yml file or you can create java based config class but to make the thing simple i will define it in application dot yml file now what you need to define spring mbc api version which type of versioning you want to apply i want to apply use path segment okay now in path segment at what position you want to pass the version b1 b2 like that i want to pass at position 2 or 1 it depends on your use case how you want to customize your url let me define 2 because i want to pass the version value at last of my request url okay then apart from that you also need to define what all supported version you have for your endpoints i want to support 1 i want to support only 2 if user will give 3 i will give the error or i will simply set the default value as a 1 if i will get 8 i don't know what user is trying to access i will default it to 1 1 is nothing your first endpoint b1 endpoint this is how you need to define api versioning strategies now let's run the application so we got the result application started without any exception because we have defined the versioning strategies now let's go to the postman and try accessing both the version let's confirm the url once go to the controller api payments looks good then i want to apply the generic application which is my version 1 okay send the request we got the 
response now if i'll give 1.0 i got the response now if i'll give v1 we got the response now if i want to access the new endpoint assume we have 10 downstream out of 10 2 want to access version 2 endpoints they can give v2 they will get the response including refund policy payment method and provider they also can give two they can pass anything okay this is how api versioning path based work now what is the next strategy is the next strategy is request header based okay now let's understand how we can achieve header based versioning this is very simple approach what we need to do in path base we append the version at the request url or at the request path so just remove it we don't need it okay and here also just remove it now how you want to pass the version through request header right so what you can do in application.yml just change the strategies instead of use path segment you can use the header here and what is the header key you want to provide x api version anything you can define as a key now if x api version if you see the controller if it is version 1 execute this particular endpoint if the version 2 is coming as part of the header then execute this particular endpoint this is also very straightforward approach to use header based versioning okay let's run it quickly so it started without any error now go to the postman i don't want to append as part of the request url just remove it go to the header pass the key x api version pass the value 1 now it will give me the first endpoint response which is our b1 let's send the request we got b1 now if i'll give 2 i'll get new endpoint response that is my b2 you can see the refund policy you can see the tags and payment provider that is what we added in the new rest endpoint okay this is how you can access using header based versioning now let's move to the last one that is parameter based versioning or even people called it as a query based versioning now how you can do it that is again straightforward now let's do it go to the first endpoint remove this version what you want to do i want to define the parameter what is the parameter parameter is nothing this endpoint for version 1 if request url contains this query parameter then call this particular endpoint same here as well version 2 how you want to customize your url that is up to you you can go for b1 here or you can go for b1.1 anything you can customize okay i am keeping it simple with 1 and 2 you can go with your any versioning value next just define the strategies in application.yml file now here i want to use query parameter what is the parameter you want to pass i want to pass version that's it we are good here now this is what you can define param based versioning now let's run it and we'll see the result so we are good it started now let's test this out go to the postman now what you want to pass you want to pass the request param right remove this here you can define parameter version equal to 1 okay now let's send the request we will get the first version response now give 2 you will get the second one the new endpoint so now if you have 10 different version you know how to play with the api versioning choose the correct strategies based on your use case okay that's it guys that's how you can implement api versioning the right way using spring boot 4 in this video we understand why versioning is critical in real world system and how spring boot 4 make it much cleaner and scalable compared to the traditional b1 b2 controller approach so if this video helped you understand api versioning better don't forget to like it really helped my channel to grow and if you want more deep dive content on spring boot backend architecture and real world system design 
make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any update also let me know in a comment section if you want something new to watch in my upcoming videos i'll see you in the next video till then happy coding and happy learning